It is difficult to find Christ while we are dealing with our daily struggles. We are called to pick up our cross and follow Christ, but when our burden is heavy, it is easy to lose our faith in Christ and even to blame Him. But God allows struggles and challenges in our lives because they are what make us stronger. And there is no greater example to look at and to learn from than St. Matrona of Moscow. St. Matrona was born Matrona Dmitrievna Nikonova in the year 1881 into a poor family. She was born completely blind. She struggled much of her early life, but was always incredibly close to God. And around the age of seven, her faith allowed her to perform miracles. Many people in her village asked her to pray for them as she was able to heal people with her prayers and discern physical and spiritual struggles in others. At the age of 17, she became paralyzed and was unable to walk for the rest of her life. I think we're able to learn quite a bit from her life. Uh, she was quite an example. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know of her, but she was born blind. And she also carried that cross very majestically. Uh, could you imagine being born blind and just never complaining against God uh, for anything? So just in the fact that from that young age she was enlightened and was able to do that, that is um, quite a heroic effort. Um, spiritually on her part and we can take that as an example and run with it in our lives um, as in all of the tribulations that we have today. In the year 1925 she settled in Moscow. Over the course of her life thousands came to her for prayers, guidance and healing. People that were sick or possessed would often seek her out and she would be able to heal them all. She encouraged everyone she met to stay close to the church. She helped guide thousands of people through difficult times. Many people would try to give her credit for the miracles that occurred, but St. Matrona strongly reminded them all that it was God alone who helped them. All disabilities, if we take them with humility, uh, they're all meant to help us. All tribulations, all disabilities, all illnesses, it's all medicine, if you will. So um, if you take it correctly, um, then it's, you know, you can just really reach great spiritual heights. If someone spoke to her, she knew uh, what they came to her for, what problems they had, what joys they had. And this was a gift given to her after much prayer. In the year 1945, she was forced to move around often because officials in the Soviet Union wanted her arrested. One day, an official came to arrest her. She told him that he should immediately return home because his wife was in danger. She reassured him that she wouldn't go anywhere as she was an old blind woman. The official went quickly to his house and was just in time to save his wife from a fire that had already burned her. When asked by his superiors if he had arrested St. Matrona, he responded, No, and I won't do it. She saved my wife. She just humbly and meekly accepted her cross. She did obedience to God, and in return, God gave her these great gifts. And with throughout Russia, historically, there was such a need at that time. A lot of seeking from the Russian people who are very faithful in the church. I just think that she was like a mother to most people who ran to her, asked her for different, you know, healings, different, and again, it might not have been physical, could have been something, you know, spiritual. So she helped everybody, really exemplified the love of the neighbor you know, love your neighbor as yourself, you know, as, you know, give everything. And that's what she did. 
Towards the end of her life, she knew of her death three days in advance and told those close to her, Come to me, all of you. Tell me about your troubles after I have passed as if I were alive, and I will see you and hear you and help you. Saint Matrona died on May 2, 1952. Thousands of Christians visit her tomb every year and continue to ask for her prayers. In the Orthodox Church, she is commemorated on April 19th and on May 2nd. It was through her struggles that God gave her the grace to help so many others in need. Saint Matrona was poor, blind, illiterate, and crippled. Yet, despite this, she became a spiritual giant who strengthened and continues to strengthen thousands of the faithful through God's grace and love. Oh.